guys, Pastor Patrick here, as we get ready to gather for our second official worship gathering, which will be tomorrow, Saturday, November 12th. We gather at 6 p.m., just like we do every week. So we get ready to get together. I want to give you the sermon text. This week, it's going to be Matthew 5, verse 13 through 17. Now, last week, we unpacked 2 Timothy 3. This week, we jump into Matthew 5. And I'll tell you this, Matthew 5, that little section there, when you begin to read it, you'll probably say, man, I've heard this before. It's some language I'm familiar with. What we'll do tomorrow, we'll go past the surface level. We'll look at the terms. We'll look at what's being explained there, the book of Matthew. But then we'll take a deeper look at what does this really mean? What is this really saying? And it's going to be one of those uh, investigations where when we leave worship, we'll be thinking totally different about ourselves and about the daily journey that we're on. So Matthew 5, 13 to 17. I'd also encourage you, since we have a worship home base, there are some people in your workplace, your neighborhood, uh, friends, relatives, some people that God is leading you to invite to join us. So be very proactive about that. Carry around a posture looking for that, knowing that God will have people come into your life that you're supposed to invite to worship. Now, of course, we always invite people into our lives so we can love them and care for them and no strings attached. But there are certain people that God opens a door to invite them to worship. So be proactive about that very thing. Also, uh, I'd have you look at the website, soulthirstchurch.com. And there's one specific web page that I want you to check out. When you go to soulthirstchurch.com, there's a web page that says Soul Thirst Missionaries and Church Planters. As we get this baby rolling, we've got a lot of stuff doing that we're going to do right here on site, on campus, you know, in our local community. But there's also a lot of stuff we're supporting across the globe. So that web page, soulthirstchurch.com, then go to the web page, Soul Thirst Missionaries Church Planners. That's something I want you to become familiar with, keep checking back with, and also share it with friends and neighbors, other people that could be very intrigued by some world mission that Soul Thirst Church has going on. That's the news right now. Just want to give you a sneak peek at tomorrow. And one more little thing, when it comes to the sermon, a word you can begin processing is the word rare. R-A-R-E, rare. Matthew 5, 13 to 17, the word rare will be a key theme. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Look forward to it. Beautiful night, stars shining.